and welcome to Phuket Extra. A year after they were pushed off the beaches, the formerly ubiquitous white plastic sun lounges may be up for a return. A research team from the Prince of Songkhla University are reporting back to Governor Nisit on the current trial of the 10% zones where umbrellas and vendors are allowed. But the Governor says he'll listen to the findings of the research team and consider implementing any changes they recommend, including the return of the sun lounges. And Thailand's men's football team retained its SEA Games Championship, defeating Myanmar 3-0 with all the scores made in the second half. Thailand's women's volleyball team also defeated Vietnam in straight sets and made its 12th title in the Southeast Asian Games. Thailand is already the SEA Games 2015 champion with 92 gold medals, well ahead of the host Singapore with 83 gold. A lawyer representing the dead bungee jumper from Kuwait is heading to Patong to discuss compensation. The 25-year-old died as a result of the bungee cord ropes attached to his ankle either slipping off or breaking whilst he was rebounding from his jump, causing him to crash into the side of the lake. The pressing of charges against world bungee jump owners and a member of staff who attached the safety harnesses have been postponed for a third time. Coming up next, a what full of bunnies and underpants full of fire ants. All coming up next on Phuket Extra. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. The owners of Phuket's troubled ACE condo development have been given a week to satisfy customers who want their money back or face charges. That's the order from the Secretary of the Consumer Protection Board. The owners have two weeks to sort out complaints about the troubled development. Many owners have paid deposits and regular payments after buying into the project off the plan. Ace Condo was scheduled to be complete by September 2014, but construction has yet to start. A problem for the abbot of a Ratchaburi temple who now knows more about the breeding habits of rabbits. Wat Tung Noi, which is home to hundreds of bunnies, wants the public to take some of them home because they're breeding too fast and they simply can't feed them all. The 300 little mascots have become quite an attraction, but the abbot wants to find the small ones' homes. He keeps the larger ones as he fears the locals would be taking them straight to the barbecue. And from the file of absolutely don't try this at home comes the tale of this young man from Anong who tempted fate at the hands of his enthusiastic friends and a nest of biting fire ants. We're not sure what on earth tempted him to try this completely lunatic stunt, but it's clearly the nasty little ants that were enjoying themselves a lot more than the ill-advised teenager. Of course, his loud complaints are all in Thai, but you don't really need a translator to tell you what he's saying. And to today's weather and a very cool top of only 29 degrees with heavy thunderstorms around the island and a 100% chance of rain. Bumpy conditions along the west coast, this is what you can expect. That's so all we have time for on Phuket Extra today. Hope you enjoyed the program. We're online about 12 every day. Thanks for watching. Have you ever been refused a visa to Australia? Thinking of a visa for your partner? Call now 076 612 550 or visit ausvisa.org.